Good morning and welcome to the series uh, Wake Up Africa. This is a brother and friend, Momodu Sabali from Banjul in the Gambia, uh, intending to do a series talking about pertinent issues on the continent. And uh, we know the top issue all over the world right now for policymakers and for those whom those policies affect is the economy, economics. Uh, inflation is uh, rising all over the world. And of course, Africa is not an exception. And policymakers are trying to solve this problem mainly you would see central banks increasing uh, policy rates to stem demand driven inflation but the problem is uh, in as much as these central banks are on the right path in terms of what we know of economic theory especially monetary economics the fact and the reality is that macroeconomic management and developments in the economy emanate from the real sector that is where production happens, agriculture, industry, services. So, given the enormity of this uh, looming global macroeconomic crisis, uh, I think in Africa we need to go back to the root causes, especially uh, we need to address the supply side issues, knowing very well that there are inherent structural rigidities that need to be addressed for policy moves done now mostly would be a fruit a year, two years, three years, or even more from now, especially if you're dealing with sectors like agriculture where you have rigidities like uh, factors of production. So we need to really wake up and uh, do something about production. The price, price of flour goes up because there is war in Ukraine and Russia. And the price of bread is an issue in my country right now. But these problems can never be fully addressed just by monetary policy alone. We need to do something. Government policies need to shift towards being more responsive to the needs of the farmers, to the needs of the young people. Because if we don't till this land, we can't feed our children. The most fertile land, blessed with abundant water, both in our waterways and from the uh, bountiful skies that God has blessed us. We cannot afford to have hungry children walking the streets of Africa. So policy moves need to be a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more responsive, a little bit more proactive. We're selling our seas, especially in a country like mine, where we take a few million euros from the European Union and allow them to go fish in our waters unrestrained, unrestricted, taking away billions of euro. You know, and still we're talking of hunger and malnutrition. Talk of Bob Marley's song. In the midst of water, the fool is thirsty. We cannot afford to continue on this kind of self-destructive paths. Our relationships with the East as well need to be reconsidered where the Chinese would come over fish bring their fishing meals, destroy our marine resources, our natural environment, we can and we should do better. But it starts up. You have a dream. The first step is to wake up. Wake up, Africa. Let's do this. We can do this. This is your brother, Mohoru Sabali, from Banjul, the Gambia.